Hello and welcome to another episode of the Free to Play. And an interesting thing that's going on right now, we have some events. Faction play events. This one is Diamond Shark versus Noah Cat. So as I am currently a Jaguar, I won't be able to do it, but we'll see what we can do about that. And some pretty decent rewards here. 500,000 C bills, 50 MC, and some cockpit items. We're doing fairly simple things. So earn 150 match score, that's just not being asleep and doing, you know, a decent amount of damage. Get a victory, that can kind of be concerning in faction play, considering there's no matchmaker and you're could be a group of randoms on your team and a 12-man competitive group on the other team that you're guaranteed to lose, so that one's kind of annoying. But the rest of it's okay. We've got kills and kill most damage dealt. All right. Kill assist, damage dealt. Then there's again the, for the victory, the victory in match score. And then the same thing for the Nova Cat versions of them. So we got three things that are Diamond Shark, Diamond Shark, Diamond Shark. And then clan, Nova Cat, Nova Cat, Nova Cat. And I'm you'd have to go from both sides, I believe, in order to uh, to make this function. So you have to be going to Diamond Shark and play some matches, and then switch over to Nova Cat and play some matches to get everything unlocked. So if we only show eligible objectives, nothing. Because we're not part of those two groups. But let us go change that. So we'll go into faction play here. We'll go into our contracts. We will cancel our current contract with Clan Smoke Jag. And we will choose a contract with... Let's start with, with the Diamond Shark. We'll grab up some Diamond Shark. And we've got a contract with Diamond Shark. And now if we go back to the list here and see eligible rewards, we now see the three Diamond Shark ones. So we can go into that special conflict and try to be victorious on it. So we're gonna try that today. I don't like playing faction play that much, but we'll do a little bit of dabbling into these events just so that I can get some more of that sweet, sweet MC. But to check our drop decks, we've got two. We've got a front loaded with the, the Death Strike, the Mad Cat Mark IIb, the Viper and the Arctic Cheetah as being our back end. And then we have more of a mid range consistent deck with the Vanguard, that's yeah, Vanguard, our Hellbringer, a Linebacker, and our Huntsman. So let's go take a look. I think we're gonna take the bottom one as I currently need to stick an engine into my uh, Mad Cat Mark IIb, which I think it needs a 350, which is on my Marauder 2C, so I can just steal that. Uh, the benefits of having flexible engines between your designs. It's one of the reasons why I designed practically every one of my mechs around the XL350, 325, or 300, is that I can just go, oh, I need to swap engines. Oh wait, it's super duper easy. And bada boom bada bing, perfectly at 90 tons out of 90 tons, and ready to kick ass. All right, let me just check my Vanguard's design. So my my Death Strike is Goss and Laser. This thing is Mask Daka. Your Sun Spider is the Ultra 10s and PPC. Linebacker is currently three mid lasers. That is an incorrect build. It's a good thing I'm checking these things before going out there because this mech is severely undergunned. This thing is supposed to have a pair of heavy larges on it as well. Just like that. Save that up. <laughs> God, wouldn't want to be in a situation where I run into that. And then we have our Huntsman. Our Viper is good. Small machine guns and heavy, uh, small lasers and heavy machine guns. Our Huntsman is mid pulse. And our Arctic Cheetah is small pulse or small laser. Excellent. So all of those are ready to rock. Depending on which map we get, we'll be determining which team we'll choose there. We'll go to the Intersphere match, Intersphere map, hit fight now, and, ooh, man, that's really hard to tell when those colors are so similar. Uh, it looks like Diamond Shark has captured a little bit here, so that's interesting. 
Also, I think you can get your victory out of scouting, which would probably be a very easy way to get your victories. So we'll think about that. But for now, we're going to do an invasion match and we're going to start searching. And I will get back to you guys once we are in the drop zone. And we are heading into our drop. We're on Sulfurous Rift. We're attacking on Siege. Oh, this game mode sucks. Oh, this game mode sucks. All right. All we need to do is get a victory today. So if we don't get a victory doing Siege, we will jump into a scouting match and just scout until we get a victory. But we should have no difficulty getting the rest of the objectives, the kills, the assists, the Kimmel's damage delts, match score, all that stuff. And let us go to the right here. This is the sort of meta gate to attack. I'm actually going to. I normally keep these down a little bit so that I... Uh, oh, I actually have them on full volume here already. I normally keep the playback of the in-game chat a little bit lower because I don't want somebody to be able to hijack a video by being like, oh my god, I'm in the match with him and then just start yelling at me over the the um, the voice comms. But in faction play, it's practically required. You need to be able to speak with each other. But let us push to the right side. We do have our ECM. We are in a Hellbringer to the start. I took the sort of mid-range deck. We got the Hellbringer, the Sun Spider, the Linebacker, and the Huntsman. And I'm might even keep the Sun Spider as my ace in the hole right at the end. Uh, it is clan versus clan, so we don't have to worry about tons and tons of inner sphere weight on the enemy team. As normally it's like uh, you as a clan is fighting off like just like three waves of inner sphere assaults. So if we can get through their heavies and assaults, we should eat up most of their weight, and it should be fine. But we all maneuvering over towards Alpha. Our light is moving up. He's going to cause the turrets to activate. And it looks like there's some enemies with ER large lasers in the backfield there. They're taking some pot shots at us. Yeah, right up there. I can I can see I can see that damn shadow cat. Where is he? Right there. He's out of range, the bastard. It's okay though. Alpha's going down fast enough. I'm just gonna go straight for the entrance. Getting ready. I'm gonna cut across the side here, tuck in on the other side. See if there's anyone here. No, no one right in the open. We're just gonna wait for our team to regroup up before we really start to push in there. Oh man, I haven't done faction play in a while. We have a total of two assaults. Let's not just wait for them fast. We do have a lot of heavies in this first wave, though. I kind of want to get up and around to the right. I really like that push. Let's see what we can see here. Just going to take our time. We've got our high mounts. We've got our ECM. We can just take all time and pick these guys off at a distance. That uh, Shadow Cat has a weak leg. Interesting. Let's try to take it out. These large pulse lasers are really at their limit when it comes to their range here. Shadow Cat is weak leg. Weak leg. Oh, I don't want to fall down here. Oh, yes, I am. Never mind. I will cope. Let's start moving up. These are actually really great spots for me. Ah, just my, just my head laser is able to sneak over. No, if that was an ER large. That'd be an amazing spot. We will run across our allies firing and get shot by them because that's what we do. I'm, I'm notorious for doing that. And we, we actually have a light in the backfield behind us. That is an interesting concept. Get over here. Got a Mad Cat Mark 2B. 
We're going to start doing damage as we creep around the side here. He's the first one we see, so he's the first one we're going to put some damage into. Gamma is one tap in the CT. And he's down. We got a Kimmel's damage delta to that. Boom, take some side torsos off. That Shadow Cat is in a bad position. Also, there is the Timberwolf with him. Let's wait for our cooling. And keep making our way in. Doing some damage to these defense turrets to open up our, bre our, uh, our beachhead here. Just allow ourselves to, on the next wave, have a much better position. Because we're not going to win on this wave. No. It's not possible. But what we need to do is make sure we establish a nice position for when we want to come in for the next wave. And uh, try to get rid of some of these bigger and scarier opponents like a dire whale. Can I back up here just enough to reach over it? I'm not sure. I want to try. Because that dire whale is CT Super Red, and he's down. Excellent. All that matters is we're, we're taking out assaults for their, for our heavies, which is good. Very good. And also, we're, we're clearing turrets, and we're making our way into the base. There's a light behind us. He's a cheetah! Oh, he's actually way over at our spawn. Why is there... That cheetah's off at our spawn. Interesting. And we'll just keep working our positioning here until we run out of health. And Warhawk in the perfect little spot for me to hit him. But things aren't looking that good. We're gonna fall back one piece of our one piece of cover here, back to this point. Just gonna use up some of my back armor to get back here. And once we're back here, we've got some different angles. I'm gonna try to do as much damage to this tire wolf as possible. Ooh, and Ryan. Cool down a little bit. Ryan seems not interested in me. We do have an e enemy ECM or something nearby, as we don't have the ability to use our ECM right now. And it looks like we are the last one or two in the center here. Let's we'll see how much we did for damage on our first drop as we get taken out. Ah, 701. It's not too bad for our first go. We did make a nice little beachhead. We'll grab the linebackers. We are behind. And we need to catch up with our team. The linebacker will give us that speed. Guys, whenever we are pooks or not, there are some basics you should stick to. Don't hide. My own drop. Get me back into the fight. Do pressure on the enemy. Don't suicide, but pressure. What means look for situations into positions where you can right. I wish I wish I could open my map right now I want to see what's going on while I am dropping in so I get an idea of where I need to go come on come on there we go all right everyone's going to gamma it seems okay <laughs> if the gamma gate they eject which is fine, actually, because if they object, that's wasted tonnage on their part. So go ahead and object. I wonder who this guy back there is doing. Marauder 2C.
<laughs> it's just that war hog that's all shut up with large bolt lasers. Push into the front. Got a nice laser bomb. Plus a lot of heat sinks. Plus, linebackers are a little a little tanky with their mass uh, armor buffs. Gamma's going down fast. Are they actually going to eject? Or are they just lying? Oh. Second gate is open. Somebody gotta kill. We're just about to regroup with our team here. I'm glad I chose this mech to have its its top speed. Uh, linebackers actually make a really good drop if you take like three of them at a time. Just holy crap, this is they're fast. And they hit hard. Target hard to kill. Pretty good combination. But they only really hit hard if you use lasers and missiles, like SRMs. Everything else on a linebacker is pretty weak. It just can't use ballistics, it's just not, not enough weight. But, let's just charge in on this side. Uh, temporary benefit is that the enemy is already softened up from our first push, so half the enemies are weakened. So, hopefully, we can take them out quickly, those half pivot onto the f um, healthy half and then keep moving. Like that guy there already has a torso that's open. So we want to go and shoot at him. Just like that, we take off half his firepower with our first volley. Take out another turret. We're going to wait here for five seconds to cool down. And then we're going to get up. Next piece of cover. Next enemy. His ammo's cooking off. He's down to just an LB-20. He's in not a good position. And we'll fall back into cover. Cool down. Help take that guy out. And hopefully we can get OGen-1 this push. That's our goal, I feel. Get OGen-1. Get that down. Got him. Whoa, that's a lot of firepower. It's probably easier for me to push past it than it is to stop and go back. So we're in to cover over here. That caused a lot of enemies to push, to, to, to look at us, which allowed our allies to push. Moving up again. Another good burn. We're going to go for that guy's right torso next time we can pop out. We're at enough heat now. We can do it. Oh, he turned away. He didn't allow us to get to it. Both side torsos are open right now, which is not good for us. We're going to go down pretty soon. We got enemy missiles coming in. Let's try to flank around, but we lost our side. And we're down. 950 damage done in total. So I really didn't do that well comparatively to the last mech with this one. Which sucks. Ah, let's take out the Huntsman. Let's see how this Huntsman does. But, what's the calculation? I like to say if you have per ton, you should do at least 5 damage. So what's my goal here? I've taken 250 tons. I should be able to do math. I should do 1250 damage, right? Yeah. So if I do 1250 damage, that's like average in my mind. Online. So I'm most of the way there. And it looks like we're definitely going to lose this match though. Which is unfortunate. <laughs> Let's just wait and see what our allies want to do. As you should, should not reinforce in these kind of matches because you know the enemy is just going to chew you one by one as you trickle in. We'll wait for our allies to get in position and then we'll decide what we want to do. I think another push through Alpha would probably be the best. I don't know. We shall see where we all decide to go. 
Ooh, the Kodiak is coming out. Alright, let's go left. We're gonna go back into camo. Alright, let's go back into camo. Pretty good cooling on this mech. Got lots of pulsated. Lots of pulse lasers to kick ass with. And our team is reformed, ready for another push. We got medium. I'm in a medium. Two mediums, three heavies, an assault. Four, yeah, plenty, plenty of heavies. We should have a fair amount of firepower in order to take on the enemies. Should. But I never expect to win these matches because. I never seem to win them. Oh, oh, enemies coming forward. He's scouting for the team. And he's done. I think we can. I don't think it's actually possible that we can kill them through uh, through actual kills because we're just so far behind. He's down. Although, if they keep feeding us guys like this, we will catch up with them. Like I, I get the idea of sending out your damaged mechs, but normally. You ball up beforehand, you don't come at us one by one. You are only half a team behind, six max. It's still theoretically possible. But we'll have to just give it our darnness. Alright, it's tuck in. Get on to tucking at the wall here. I saw lasers coming from up there. I'm not sure if the enemy mech is still up there. Sun Spider's going in. I'm willing to give him some support. Oh, that was hitting the, uh, the wall there. And I do have jump jets, which will allow me to do nasty things to these guys. This Hellbringer might not expect this. No, he didn't. Get a couple hits off on him without any expectations from him. Just being like, what the hell is a huntsman all of a sudden in my grill? And we'll hit him again, hopefully. If not, there's our, our guy going in. He's going to get flanked. Time to get in and help him. God, I walked out in the open. What am I doing? Why am I already CT red? Holy shit, these guys do a lot of damage. I didn't even... I hardly even felt any, uh, or heard any damage coming in on my mech. Just, like, a couple scratches and then I'm CT open. It's ridiculous. and I can't see it and I can't shoot it. Where is it? Does it exist? Yeah, there it is. I can't hit it from here, though, so we're gonna have to just let it burn out, which sucks. I'd love to be able to shoot that thing. That guy's gone. Excellent. I had a concern about him, but now it is gone. So, unfortunate. Damn it! I started... Turning, I started twisting the instant I saw him, and I still got the full burn just because it was so much damage. Oh, God damn it. Oh, I'm not playing that well either. I should be way better at this game, but I'm not. They do have two disconnected though. Why are we? Why is this even when we have a numbers advantage? When it's ten v twelve. 
Why? All systems nominal. <sighs> Target spotted. I'm half tempted to push alpha. 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 I'm half tempted to push alpha. Because then they'll be distracted on this side, and I can go sneak in from the other side. This is my last life, though, so I should treat it with care. Eh, I'll just go screw around over here as I'm waiting. It sucks being like one of the first people to die in the wave, because you should wait for your allies and all that kind of stuff, but sometimes you just want to, like, go right back in. Ugh. Lake of the Piranha. Target spotted. I'm not doing that good. I'm not doing that good either. Next, next wave, we have to do it. We have to just win. Either completely kill them, or... Just kill the base. So I gotta be very careful with this mech. I gotta make sure to let out my allies go in first so that I can I can stay alive and do as much damage as possible. Ah, oh, piranhas! I hate piranhas so much. Oh, why do I have to fight them here? Well, let us march off with our allies in our last mech, our last valiant push, and see how we do. I think we actually got one of our guys to get out, did we? Humble Dexter? Yeah, his Sun Spider actually survived that battle and is retreating. So, Our interesting. Oh, and there's a Hellfire. I haven't seen one of those in the wild, like, ever. They are a rare beast. Huh. Interesting. Ooh, we have piranhas too. Yes, sir, That's disgusting. Piranhas are. Disgusting. But also, we're gonna get satellites we appear in a second, which will be good. We can hopefully do some, get some information that'll make us win. If not, we're just gonna head over to G4, move up, and try to do some damage. <gasps> no, they had to reconnect. It's the same problem like with No, I don't want them to reconnect. Just. Disconnect, give me my win, damn it. That's all I want is my win. I want my MC. <laughs> oh, our guys at the front have got low signal. It's on our piranhas. Careful, dudes. You may die in one shot from the right mech, but you're also one of the most annoying mechs to deal with, so stay alive. Wait till we get all there and all engaged and then you guys can go and okay, machine gun butts Does not make <sighs> oh good they missed all that stri strike damage and we'll just stop up here wait for the team and then push in but sometimes it happens you know guys that get in are they having UAV? They have UAV. We have combat ID and satellite support. Come on, show yourself, you little linebacker. I'm here and I'm waiting for you. Target spotted. Acquired. Yeah, I got some real good hits on that. Miss links there. That's what we needed. We need that damage. 
I don't know how we got a team kill in there as well. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Screw off, linebacker. You keep poking that, I'm keeping a smack you with about it. In. New target acquired. Those piranhas, man. It's all piranhas, man. It's all piranhas everywhere. It's piranhas. Oh god, this is a nightmare for me. That's ah, not even an enemy that's alive anymore. It's all piranhas. They're fucking everywhere, man. Dude, I would just like take off from this planet, nuke it from space. This, they, we don't need to take this planet. Just kill all these piranhas with a great big nuke. It's the only way to be sure. I did get a kill there, which felt nice. Oh god, here comes a piranha. Come on, come on. Bastard. Here you go, here you go. Opening up his back. One generator destroyed. He's coming back around. Get ready for him. He's gonna come around this side. God, I mean just this. There he is. Oh my god. The only thing that I would say to balance piranhas and then they'd be fine would be to make it so the machine guns don't do hardly like any damage. Like zero to like minuscule quantities of damage versus armor. I just don't think it's fair that there's a mech that can like rip your torsos in half with their component damage while also being relatively decent against armor. That's all. If I remove the armor components, then I would have less of an issue with piranhas, because if I had armor, I would just be like, oh, well, you're screwed. Yeah, see, right here. I'm gonna die in like two seconds under this guy's fire because armor is just mass damage. It's ridiculous. Oh, thank God those guys died. Ooh. Hellfire. I can't see him. Omega is active. It's open. I gotta start shooting at it. We might actually win this. Come on, Ultras, don't jam on me now. Oh, my Ultras are depleted. I gotta rely on my freaking PPC and we win! Holy crap, we won! <laughs> I don't know how we did it, but we did it. Oh my god. We actually won! Oh, look at that. Seabills earned one million. Oh, look at that premium time bonus and the contract bonus, which is... The fact that you only get the contract bonus and you win, and it's increased by premium time and mech bonus is ridiculous. It makes winning so much more viable than losing in, in this game mode. 1.6 thousand damage done, one kill, 39 assists, 
with four kill most damage delts. I don't think I'm gonna have enough kills for my thing yet. But we did okay. We did okay. So let's pop out of here. And I want to see how much of the event we got done by getting a single faction play victory. And I really didn't get that many kills. I didn't get that many finishing blows, basically. I was participating in a bunch of the damage, but wasn't able to secure the kills. But let's see. Come on, load faster. You can do it. I believe in you. Finally, there we go. We got the Urn of Victory in the match score. Excellent. We'll claim that. We got no solo kills. We got five kill or kill most damage delts. So we didn't get this one at all. The shark, the kills one. We got the assist one and the thousand damage. So that was good. And yeah, so out of the clan diamond shark, we got two out of three with that one match. We just didn't get the kills and the kill most damage delts. Well, you can, I guess, try to do this some more in the future. Maybe some scouting. Uh, but, again, like I said, the action play is interesting, but not my forte in this game. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching. And good hunting.